Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Min and Neil Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. It's very much appreciated. Just going to be doing a reading for Scorpio. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story. Sometimes I do say he or she, sometimes the story might be vice versa. Okay, Scorpio, I got a message for you this morning that is very loud and clear. Okay. All right, Scorpio, we are heading into 2024. And the numbers um, 2024 is very significant for you, Scorpio, because it's all about your home, your stability, your growth, your your partnerships. You know, um, two is partnerships, four is stability, also soulmate connection. When you add the numbers together, you get the number eight, which is infinity. So the message I got for you this morning is take your birthday, Scorpio, and the month and the year 2024 and add up those numbers and if your your number comes to a single digit at the end which is either two or four or eight 2024 is your year 2024 is your year where everything will come together for you scorpio okay all right that was the message that i got this morning strange i usually get a song but i didn't all right, Scorpio, let's see what's in store for you. Scorpio, I do feel that there is somebody that you're connected to, or this could be you, Scorpio, take it as it resonates with you that is really, really thinking about you and really thinking about taking you somewhere, taking you either on, on a trip or taking you out um, for your birthday maybe or just taking you out in general, okay? Um, this person wants to have this new beginning with you. They wanna open up um, a pathway for you, for you and them and they're thinking about how they're gonna do it. How are they going to do it? But they're definitely planning some sort of a trip or a journey to take you on. And I do feel that this person, they do want to bring in the change. They are, they are seriously thinking now that um, enough is enough and they want to create this new change. And with the number 10, which leads to a number one, um, that is a brand new beginning that is going to happen between you and this person. I feel like between you and this person, um, you're trying to get your finances in, in order. You may be doing this separately, you may be doing it together, but um, for one of you, there is some unexpected income that it, that is coming in. Um, it could be to an older gentleman that is coming in, um, or it could be for you, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be a man, but the, I've got the card of a mature person that, that is planning something for the future between you and this person and um, they're just trying to get some finances in order. And I do feel that, you know, they, they're trying to keep something a secret here. This could be a surprise, Scorpio, that they want to create for you. Um, but there is some hidden things that are go that is happening here, and I'm sorry if I spoiled the surprise, Scorpio, but this person wants to make things official between you and them in the new year, okay? Um, I do feel that they have some worries about their finances right now, but um, and they are feeling mentally tied and trapped to um, to to things where they, where they are right now. But you know they're trying to find a way out of that. But one of you, Scorpio, either you or this person is going to come in through some sudden wealth. Okay, sudden wealth for me usually comes in through things that are unexpected and you've got the cards of unexpected money. So sudden wealth could also be an inheritance. Okay. Um, but we'll see. Okay. I think, I feel that if, you know, this person that you either make them feel childlike or you may already have a child with this person or they want to have children with you. Um, but Either way, it's you make them happy. I feel like you make them happy. What you don't see coming in the future, Scorpio, is that there is um, this person is going to put in a lot of hard work and effort with you. 
I feel like right now that everything is sort of happening separate and um, you know sometimes you're in a little bit of despair here Scorpio or they are with the amount of time that they have to either see you or um, you know things that are just in the way between the two of you but this person is willing to put in the hard work and effort into the relationship with you Scorpio. I mean, they do want to take you out. They do want to court you. They do want to, um, you know, give you the world, Scorpio. But right now, they're feeling a little bit of a, a lack here, okay? Um, when this person comes into this sudden wealth, um, they are going to, you know, come in and, and uh, elaborate with you. They, they do want to talk to you. They do want to give you this privileged lifestyle. Um, they may be connected to somebody else that wants to have a privileged lifestyle. So they, they're feeling like they're going to have to work the rest of their life for this person um, to maintain a certain lifestyle with them, whereas things flow very easily with you, Scorpio. But, you know, there is going to be, you know, if this person is connected to somebody else, I feel like there's going to be a separation between this person and the other person and they want to come towards you Scorpio okay there is some great fortune to be made here Scorpio so um a lot of luck is going to happen between you and this person you know uh, I feel like this is your soulmate this is your twin flame and with soulmates twin flames you know you you have to be aligned you have to come together you know and you have to be on the same path to be able to create a lot of things you and this person are going to be a lesson for a lot of people a lot of people okay um i do feel that this person does want to give you a certain lifestyle because they feel like that there's an ex they you know they're expected to do this they're expected to play their role of giving you a certain lifestyle okay but a lot of people have expectations from this person and it puts a lot of pressure on them yeah, it puts a lot of pressure on them. They feel like that they're being controlled. And this is why they want to come out of this connection if they're in another connection. It's a very, very controlling connection, okay? Um, so I do feel that this privileged lady that they're connected to um, expects a certain lifestyle from this person, expects them to, um, you know, be able to have this nice, comfortable home and, yeah... I feel like this person or you, if you're coming into some great fortune and sudden wealth, it is regarding a home that is going to be sold. There will be a family meeting regarding this, this home um, and the money that is going to be, um, you know, given equal, give and take. This person wants marriage. They want marriage from you. And I do feel that um, you will receive some news or a message from this person regarding their marriage. I think they are they are in a marriage and this marriage um, holds an expectation from them. You know, this person wants to live a certain lifestyle and wants to, um, you know, show the world how happy they are. But this, uh, this person is miserable. They're miserable. They con the connection is with you. Um, and I do feel that, you know, that there is somebody's ending here, okay? And that's why there'll be a family meeting. That's why there'll be great fortune and sudden wealth. And it is for a main um, male, according to the cards, okay? So I kind of feel Scorpio, excuse me. I feel Scorpio that when this happens... That's that's the escape for this person. And I do feel that, you know, having some financial backup is going to give them um, a lot of strength and a lot of courage to be able to leave the situation where they are right now. And I do feel that they will offer you marriage in the future because they have a lot of respect for you, Scorpio. They, you know, this, this is a message that is coming in that is very concerning and it is regarding somebody's... Um, separation court um you could be getting a payout through court or there could be a separation through court that leads to 
um, financial balance. They are worried about the separation. They are worried about, you know, going through this divorce. They're, but their worry is more like, oh, what would people say? What would people think? Or, you know, is there people going to think less of me? But no, no, they're not. They're not going to think less of you because people hold you in high honours, okay? And, um, you know, whoever they're connected to that wants this privileged lifestyle and wants to, um, you know, live like they're, they're the rich and famous, they're, they're bloody killing this other person, you know? It's killing them to be able to provide this, this certain lifestyle. I feel like this person is a simple person, you know? Like, yes, they like the finer things in life, like you, Scorpio, but um, they, don't, they don't feel they need to kill themselves for it because what do you take with you at the end anyway? See, because, look, this person is, like, working really hard, really hard, okay? This person is coming towards you, Scorpio. They're bringing you a gift. And the reason why they're working really hard to build their finances is because, you know, they want to still keep a certain lifestyle, but they're in love with you, something shocking, Scorpio. And if they haven't told you, they, they are keeping that secret. But they really do love you. But this person will make themselves sick if they continue working too hard like that. Things need to be more simplified, Scorpio. You are the main female in this person's life and they do love you, okay? But there is sometime around about February, um, a meeting between you and this person um, that they're going to surprise you with, with something here, Scorpio, okay? And I do feel that... Um, I do feel that the 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 sudden wealth is connected to to this person, and I feel like it's got something to do with a mature woman who is not well. Okay, but this person wants to bring you a gift. They want to take you out. They want to talk to you. They are going to be more serious with you in the following year, Scorpio, especially around about February. Um, but you know, I've got February and I've got the either six six weeks or six days or six months time okay so um, or it could be six all up but you will be hearing from this person very very soon right now you kind of feel like that there might be a bit of a disconnect between you and this person but what i do feel scorpio is that this person truly loves you but cannot open up and express their feelings to you because you would want things to move forward Scorpio because you don't like stagnation you don't like being feeling stuck okay all right for those of you that are single um there is a lot of work that is coming your way some financial blessings that are coming your way that for a lot of you singles you are traveling you're either traveling back home or you're traveling to a warmer climate to to just have a break from it all it's been a rough year and you know um you're single maybe because you came out of a relationship this year um or a divorce or something or other but you are going to deal with your emotions okay you know i've got the king of cups and i've got the queen of cups here you and this person are a perfect match you're a perfect match you're both emotionally connected you're both um, you know, don't like to be in positions of where you feel vulnerable. Um, you're both very strong together. There's a lot of love between you and this person. God, they think of you a lot, Scorpio. They think so much of, about you every night before they go to sleep, okay? <clears throat> they just want to reach out to you. For some of you, you may feel that this person is distancing themselves from you, but it's because they can't stop thinking about you, Scorpio. They they really truly do love you. So hard to keep their feelings um, you know. I also feel that Scorpio, that you know, this person is going to speak a lot of truth and clarity to you. 
I feel like you and this person had a lot of issues in the past, a lot of ins and outs, a lot of ups and downs. They may have hurt you, hurt you a, a number of times in, in the past. Um, you know, but all that is being left in the past now. There is a brand new journey and a brand new beginning. If this is a new person that is coming into your life, well, this person has uh, just recently or is going to become wealthy um, through an inheritance. Family, family wealth. You're a star, Scorpio. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune favours you, especially in business, um, Scorpio. And I do feel that whoever this person is, they don't want to battle this anymore. They don't want to battle it, okay? You're going to be getting a lot of attention, Scorpio. The Wheel of Fortune is favouring you, especially in your financial sector. Um, and you're just going to allow things to flow now, Scorpio. We've got fast forward communication that is coming in. Okay, somebody is leaving a situation. Somebody is walking away and going towards their Ten of Cups. This is the person that can't stop thinking. Um, it could be the other person. It could be you, Scorpio, that is walking away. But you're going to calmer waters. You're heading towards a new beginning, something that's more emotionally stable, something that's uh, a lot more easier. Somebody wants to, you know, this could be a person from the past or you've got memories of the past, but something is going to balance out between you and this person after a conversation, okay? I do feel that somebody's carrying a heavy burden here and they're willing to drop that burden to begin again. Something is coming to an end, Scorpio. All right. And I do feel there's been a lot of pain and I do feel that, you know, somebody is walking away, but they're walking towards their Ten of Cups and they're walking towards their Ten of Pentacles. I feel, Scorpio, at this stage, it's you that wants to walk away because you feel like this is stagnant. You feel like it's not going anywhere. You feel that, you know, this person will always choose others over you um, and you, you don't want to waste any more time. But, but truthfully and secretly, Scorpio, their love is so strong for you, they don't know what to do with it. So if they're acting like a fool, it's because they're confused. They don't know what to do, Scorpio. But things are going to be revealed to you very, very soon. Okay. This person has a lot of desire for you. They want to offer you the Ace of Cups. They want to offer you, um, you know, the four, the four of um, Wands here. Is this? This is your your soulmate. This, and that's why the connection is very strong on your end, Scorpio. And they do want to offer you this beautiful Ace of Cups, Scorpio. Seven of Coins is they want some stability, they want growth, they want to um, do what's best for you and, and them. And uh, if that means they have to go away to work hard, Scorpio, um, they will do that and then they will come back to you. But they're manifesting you, Scorpio. They're manifesting that you will wait. You are the wish, Scorpio. You are the wish fulfillment here. And I do feel that this person has a lot of passion and desire for you and um, you know they want to move things to calmer waters with you and I do feel that they will travel towards you Scorpio they have a plan they have a plan and you feel that they're leaving you but their plan is to actually come towards you they are coming towards you Scorpio you need to just go and do you for now um, you know like just keep going with what you've got in front of you, Scorpio. Keep yourself busy. Um, I do feel that this person, um, when they do separate from from their partner, they have to go through some healing. Um, and this is why you're feeling that they have to keep you secret. They have to keep you secret. They don't want to dirty your name, Scorpio. They want, to, they want people to appreciate you and love you. And they don't want um, you to to be caught up in this mess that they're about to put themselves in for you, Scorpio. But there is a lot of happiness, a lot of peace, 
stability that is coming in. This person is ready to surrender. They're finally using their intuition. They miss the passion between you and them. They're going through quite a battle, but they will be asking for forgiveness from you, Scorpio. You are the home. You are the home. You are this person's home, Scorpio. And I do feel that that's where their heart is and their heart is with you. They feel so at home with you. This person might be connected to music or music. Um, there's a connection between you and this person. Um, but they have a lot of hope in this situation and they will be sending you a message very soon. Okay. They are going through some sort of an awakening, a transformation. Finally seeing the truth here, Scorpio, that who they should have been with from the beginning, okay? Um, yeah, for some of you that are meeting somebody new, somebody new is going to come into your life around about February of 2024. And um, this is somebody who has their own business, somebody who, um, you know, is quite wealthy. And um, I do feel that... Um, you may walk away from this person because you feel that, you know, you don't have enough to be with this person, but they're not looking for enough, Scorpio. They're looking for somebody who is real. I feel like this person has uh, had a lot of fake people in their life and has used them for their financial wealth, okay? And they see you, Scorpio, who, um, you know, they may, have, they may be known. They may be known and then you meet them and you don't know who they are. And you're just talking to them like the average person, you know, and um, they feel so at home with you. They feel so comfortable talking to you, um, you know, and uh, you're treating them as somebody who is just normal, you know, like they're nobodies, but um, nobody special, I mean. And um, yeah, this person is going to be so comfortable with you, but when you find out how wealthy this person is, it's going to be a shock to you, Scorpio, and also may scare you. It may scare you um, because, you know, you you may feel that, oh, you know, I'm not an equal to this person, but they love you the way they that you are, Scorpio. They, they haven't seen anything um, that's real for such a long time. Everybody's sort of like fake around them, okay? You're very creative, Scorpio, but I do feel things are going to be illuminated to you. You're going to be emotionally stable. The universe is clearing a path for you that's going to lead you to a divine love, okay? If somebody is going through a rebirth, a transformation, um, ready to begin all over again. You know, your spirit guides, especially on the 11th of the 11th, Scorpio, are going to be very much around you, okay? Manifest what, what you want, manifest what you want around the 11th of the 11th okay but i feel like you know communication is coming in healing is coming in something is coming to a completion and somebody sees you as somebody who is so beautiful and in time they're coming towards you scorpio and you know i feel like there's a lot of happiness coming in in 2024 um and I do feel for a lot of you Scorpios that your focus is going to be more on self about what do I want, who do I need in my life, what kind of a relationship I want and what kind of person I want in my life, okay? I don't think it bothers you too much for a lot of you to be single and just, you know, enjoy life and be free and go do whatever you want to do and don't want to be tied down. But for a lot of you, you don't and you do want a perfect partner um in Scorpio you do a lot of times settle for less okay so it's time for you to see your worth and somebody is coming in to see your worth Scorpio okay so let's just leave this for now and just keep working on yourself Scorpio but you, the timing is is now okay so add up those numbers and if they end in, in a two or, or a four or an eight or a six, um, next year, 2024 is, is your year, Scorpio. So good luck with that and hope it all works out for you and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.